Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Welcome to vlog number three or four. I don't know which one this is gonna be yet, but I have a very exciting camera today that I'm actually borrowing from a friend. I literally picked it up from the repair shop for him. And I was like, do you mind if I put a roll through this? And he was like, dude, take it on a trip with you. So I have an exciting couple days. We're going to Malibu for sunset right now. And then I'm going to Joshua Tree for the next three days. The camera in question is the Leica M4P. I'm using this because my Bessa T is broken. And it's my 35 millimeter Voigtlander lens on here. So it should look like my Bessa, but I'm really excited to try this. The one downside is that this doesn't have a light meter. So that's gonna be my big challenge in this video is trying to shoot for four days without using the light meter. It should be interesting, it should be a fun video. We're heading to Malibu. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful sunset. Just made it to Point Doom in Malibu. It's looking really nice. I'm just realizing something though, and that is that I don't know how to load this thing. Like it's not like a normal camera where the back just pops off so i don't know maybe i'll see if i can find someone who knows there's usually some photographers here we'll see i think i found someone excuse me sir sir do you know how to would you know how to load this camera yeah I'm, I'm just walking around i i was just trying to look for someone who knows how to load this i don't yeah, know if man, you've I, ever i, I saw you at a camera there yeah i only know how to load m6s not m4s oh Sorry, dude. Gotcha. Oh, it's all good. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, beat it. I can Could you it. actually load it? <laughs> I can do it. Yeah. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, it is just shooting me a lot here. I know. Look at that. sees rocks. Would you buy this? No. Cool. Didn't even hesitate. Yeah, I know. That was confident. <laughs> you don't even know the price. I would buy it. $10. No. Would you buy it? No. Not even for $10? I'd buy and put it on grail. Not even for $10 <laughs> doll hairs? <laughs> Man, super fun. Yeah. Nice. But <laughs> that's about it. Dude, I told you the sunsets are always amazing up here. Yeah, it's one of the best sunsets I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. At this point in the night, we were ready to go home because we thought there was gonna be no sunset, but we waited it out for just a few more minutes and it turned into one of the most beautiful sunsets that I've seen since moving to California. about the M4s 
this was an early uh, feature of the of the 60s you don't actually have to wind it back if you just open the bottom plate <laughs> it auto winds for you watch this oh okay <laughs> No, just that little R. All right, thank you. Careful, dude. Just so my good. best work on there. The next morning, Joe, Maddie, and I headed out to the desert. We were staying in Yucca Valley, which is located just outside of Joshua Tree National Park. I haven't spent much time exploring this area, so I was really excited to just spend a few days here walking around taking pictures. Yucca Valley. We're staying in a beautiful Airbnb that Joe and Maddie arranged and I'm just freeloading. So the Leica M4P doesn't have a light meter built in so my challenge for this trip is going to be guessing every single exposure. I'm not going to use a light meter throughout all of yesterday and all of these next few days here in Joshua Tree and that should be interesting. I'm, I'm interested to see how good my light meter skills are built into my eyeballs. Interesting change of events here. Yesterday leaving LA. This just in. Yesterday leaving LA, I realized I was out of 35. I only had three rolls, which is definitely not enough for the trip. So I was like, okay, let's go buy some 35. And every store was out of Portra, which is crazy. And I ended up buying, get ready for this. Oh gosh. Lomo, 800, almost 50 bucks for three rolls, which is pretty wild. I'm still excited to shoot it, but I was like, okay, if I could get some portrait, that'd be sick. But this just in. But this just in, this is the hot news. The spot we were at yesterday, taking pictures with the big statue, turns out that might be a film lab? I think so. Ammo place. All right, nice. update next to Guns and Ammo is the film lab. It's not the spot we were talking about yesterday, but there is a film lab. What if I can just park out front? Yes, you can. It is not the building we photographed yesterday, but it is still a film lab. So, feeling pretty good. Update number four. What's the news, Joe? Man, they are fresh out, as is the rest of California. He recommended a Walmart that has what, Fuji? Fuji, but I mean, I'm not, I'll just shoot the Lomo. It was cool though. Cool space. It's called High Desert. High film. Desert Film Lab. High as in H I, not H I.
to the national park for probably the first and only time this trip but so far looking really beautiful just really hoping that my exposures come out since i have guessed every single exposure but i'm feeling good about it i don't think it's going to be an issue honest I've been to Joshua Tree three or four times now and every time I do have a difficult time making images here and I don't know if it's just not a landscape that I'm super interested in or I mean it's easy you know, to shoot this like it's beautiful but to shoot something that's truly unique here I think it's quite difficult and it's been a fun challenge just trying to figure something out it's very easy to make really pretty pictures here i mean look at that landscape but i feel like every time i come here and try and find like some kind of unique angle on this place and i find it really difficult like it's a very overwhelming landscape when you first get here and i feel like this is really the kind of place that i would need to spend a real extended period of time just kind of studying the light a little bit more, finding more details, really exploring the whole park. It's a hard place to come to and just take photos in the span of only a few hours, but I guess that to some extent also applies to most places. off the video here it'd be fun to take some portraits of joe and maddie and i'm going to use this contax tla 200 which is also not my flash borrowing this from a different friend jake so thank you jake um it should look really nice i think it should illuminate them and then there's still a nice little glow in the sky so that should be pretty cool That is gonna wrap it up for vlog number three. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Before I finish up the video though, I do just wanna give a massive thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for so many years at this point and they've made it so easy to get a website up and running with my photography. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14 day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. 